This is the key for properties of matter worksheet. Which of these is, is an example of an extensive property? Extensive means it changes with the amount of sample you have. Mass does change with the amount you have. Density is always the same. The color is always the same. Boiling point of a substance is always the same. At sea level, water boils at 100 degrees C. This is an example of chemical property. Boiling is not chemical. Extensive property, doesn't matter how much water you have. If you have an ocean or a cup, it's always going to boil at 100 degrees C. Physical property, that's true. Not a chemical change because it's not making something new. Determine if each is a physical or a chemical property. Physical is something that can just easily be sensed. Chemical is talking about how a substance can or can't react, or any word that means react. So length is e easily measured with a ruler, which makes this a physical property. Brittleness is describing how easy is something to break, which would be physical. Neither of these discuss how a substance can or can't react. Something burning would be a chemical property. Something can burn, that's a chemical. It's talking about how it can or can't combust, how it can or can't burn. Burn is a similar word to react. Acid resistance would also be chemical, saying that something can't react with an acid. Not reacting is a chemical property of a substance. <clears throat> Read the sentence and write the property. Property is a description of a substance. So a piece of metal can be magnetized. The properties can be magnetized. Water freezes at zero. So freezes at zero is the property. Iron can react with oxygen to form rust. So can react with oxygen is our property. Copper is a good conductor of heat. Good conductor of heat. It's the property. <clears throat> now we're differentiating between qualitative and quantitative properties. Qualitatives use words like adjectives. Quantitatives use numbers. Beaker is colorless. So here's our property, colorless. That's a word which makes this qualitative. Write down Q-U-A-L for qual. Sample has a mass of 4.25 grams. That's quantitative. As a number, n for number. Density of water is one gram per mil. That's a number. It's a quantitative number. NH4 sub 2 S smells like rotten egg, ammonium sulfide. Uses words, makes this qualitative qualities. <clears throat> The cylinder is 12.48 centimeters long. We're using intensive and extensive properties. If I cut my cylinder in half, it would no longer have this length. That makes this extensive. The size of that cylinder determines what I write down here. Crystal of iodine is purple. It doesn't matter how big my crystal is, it means this is intensive. If I double my crystal size, it's still going to be purple. If I cut my crystal in half, it's still purple. Density of aluminum is 2.7 grams. This is intensive. Density is always an intensive property. That one might be something you just need to memorize. That density is intensive, density, intensive, density, intensive. Sample start from weighs 9.73 grams. That's extensive. If I had twice the amount of styrofoam, it would weigh more. That changes my property. Page two. We're going to read these paragraphs, find properties. So what we should do 
is uh, underlying descriptions of each substance. Mercury is a heavy metal, so it's describing mercury. Silvery white metal describes mercury. Does not react with most acids, describing mercury. Ferric conductor, talking about tricity. Heated mercury reacts with oxygen to form mercury oxide. So we could say it's a heavy metal. We could say it's silvery white. We could say it doesn't react with acids, most acids. Say it's a pair conductor of electricity. Reacts with oxygen. Now we're deciding if we have physical or chemical properties. Chemical is describe how a substance can and cannot react. Physical is something that's easily sensed with the five senses. Heavy metal does not talk about the reaction whatsoever, so that's a physical. Silvery white, it's a color, something I can see, physical. Doesn't react, so we use that key word, it makes us chemical. Fair conductor of electricity. Now, conducting is a physical property. Students often think conducting might be chemical, but we don't make something new when we conduct. Um, with electricity. Reacts with oxygen, that's chemical. Elemental nitrogen is a colorless gas. Has an electronegativity of 3.04. Condenses at, at temperature. Density is this value. Based on this density, 15 mole sample has 12.1 grams. So, colorless gas. Electronegativity. Condenses at the word condense is similar to the word boil, and that it's a phase change. The density of nitrogen is 0 0.80 grams per milliliter. And a 15 mil sample. And a mass of 12.1 grams. So we're using words quantitative, qualitative, quantitative, and for numbers, qualitative for qualities. So colorless gas is qualitative, no number there. Electronegativity 3.04, it's a number. See a number here, it's that quantitative. See a number here, it's that quantitative. See a number of 15 milliliters. See, I see a mass number, quantitative. Intensive versus extensive. The same description, no matter how much sample. Description changes with sample size. So, colorless gas. Always the same. Electronegativity, that's one that you might not know about. Electronegativity is describing how much the substance, um, those atoms like to share electrons. It doesn't matter if we have a lot of nitrogen or a little, it doesn't really like to share electrons. Condenses um, at this temperature. A lot or a little will condense, just like a lot or a little will boil at a given temperature. Density is intensive. <clears throat> then 15 milliliters 
If we were to change our amount that we had, that would change its volumes. That's extensive. If we were to change the amount we had for its mass, that would also change the number. Also extensive. Sodium is silver white, soft, good conductive electricity. Can be prepared by passing electricity through molten sodium chloride. Oil is at 883. Vapor is violet color. Tarnishes when air. Burns when heated. Chlorine gas in water. Has a melting point of 97.5 and density of this. Based on its density, it has a mass of 20 grams and a volume of this. There are more properties in spaces, so I'll just pick some. Silver white. Soft. Burns. In air. Oils at. Eight eighty eight eighty three has a density of zero point nine seven four grams per mil. Has a volume twenty eight point six milliliters and it tarnishes air. Physical or chemical? Um, physically describe with your senses, soft, you can touch that. Burns in air, the word burn is a chemical word. Boils is physical, don't so often think boil is chemical, but it's physical. Density is a measurable thing, easily seen. Volume is measurable, easily seen. It's chemical, just talking about chemical reacting word, tarnish is chemical. Qualitative versus quantitative. Numbers and words. So words, numbers. I see a number here, a number here, and a number here. So these are going to be my quantitatives. The remaining will be qualitative. Because these all use words to describe so. Finally, intensive versus extensive. If we have to choose, or if we have to guess, we're going to choose intensive because most properties are intensive. The only ones that are extensive are ones like volumes, masses, lengths, etc. So we have a volume right here. The volume does change with the size. The rest of these doesn't matter how much we have. Intensive, silver white, soft, if you have a little or a lot, it's going to be soft metal. A little or a lot will burn. A little or a lot will burn. Boil at 883. No matter how much sample we have, the density remains the same. And chemical properties are always going to be chemical, qualitative, intensive. Doesn't matter how much we have, it's always going to tarnish in there.